the idea for this show began quite some years ago. I quite often get a lovely compliment when I just uh, doing my own shows as, as Darren Coggin. And a lot of people always come up to me and say, wow, geez, you, you sound a lot like Cat Stevens. And, and they would always follow that up with, whatever happened to Cat Stevens? There's so much you have to know. Find a girl. And to be honest with you, I didn't really know the answer myself. And so we set out just finding out hey, what happened to Cat Stevens. And in doing so, uncovered this amazing story of a man's personal journey of self discovery. This is my beautiful sister Naomi and the amazing uh, MD, musical director of, uh, of Peace Train. And she's done a an incredible job in, in uh, crafting these very intricate songs um, and, and bringing them to life in a six-piece band context. She's done a great job. It's not an easy undertaking, trust me. The scoring of the music, we've tried to keep it as authentic and original yeah. as he played it, and I think that has an appeal to the audience as well, uh, you know, the response is, it just sounded like Cat. Yes, I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. The minute you hear that song, you know, they're like bookmarks in our lives, you know, and they, and they, they take you right back to where you were. I was contacted by Yusuf's older brother. Would you be in a position to come to London you know, Yusuf would love to meet with you. So I was on the first plane I could to London and uh, had a very special day with, with Yusuf himself. And Kat was determined to take his Muslim faith seriously. And this meant moving away from all distracting influences. Kat's choice was not an easy one. Yet he did not hesitate to make it. Morning has broken like the first morning. You know, at the height of his career in the mid-70s, he was incredibly discontent with, with the excesses of fame and fortune. And he did something about it. He, he turned his back on it and found fulfillment elsewhere. Remember the days of the old schoolyard We used to laugh a lot People are coming to hear, obviously. But I think what they go away with is so much more. They go away with this insight into, you know, what made this man tick and, and why he did certain things in his life and, you know, what was the motivation behind these songs. Now I've been happy thinking, thinking about the things to come And I believe there could be something good has begun and I think those messages of, in his music of, of understanding and peace and tolerance are still so relevant in our world today. And that's why I think these songs... Still hit they, home. Well, they are yeah. just so relevant in our world today and they still stand up so strongly. 